As her family, friends and wider community mourn Constable Shailene Yang, duty calls for her colleagues in uniform. You've got condolences pouring in from all over. You've got inquiries coming from all over. You have several simultaneous investigations that have to take place uh, while they're dealing with the death of one of their own. The grief is plain to see among Burnaby Mounties. We're all struggling to come to terms with this tragic loss. The hours, weeks and months ahead will be difficult. RCMP officials say support and counselling is being provided to staff. Heed warns such traumatic events may make officers more cautious dealing with people experiencing homelessness and addiction. Dealing with some of the uh, emotional health issues, mental health issues that the people they serve are facing right now. And officers are on edge. And when something like this occurs, they're going to be even more so on edge. To observe a moment of silence in honor of the fallen RCMP officer, Shailen Yang. The House of Commons held a moment of silence for Constable Yang on Wednesday. She was working as a mental health and homeless outreach officer when she was killed. The Prime Minister says such frontline police must have the right tools. We need to make sure that they are not the only uh, mental health workers out there accessible to so many people. The National Police Federation says Yang is the fifth officer in Canada to die on the job in as many weeks. Sohrab Sandhu, CBC News, Vancouver.